a dark city where humans, elves and demons coexist under neon lights. Where the black mages rule with an iron fist. As the city grew, they realized they needed more than just the squadrons, guardians, and I couldn't read the rest there. So they created the Blade Academy, where the young Blade princes are trained to become elite soldiers, spies, and assassins. The Blades are orphans, selected for their martial and magical abilities from every race and district of Abjectalia. They are owned weapons, forged specifically to fight gangsters, cultists, rebels, Furies and countless other threats. And this welcome here on Just Zack with my continued mission to show you an interesting video game almost every single day. This time we're gonna have a look at Blade Prince Academy, a, a I dare say persona inspired real time tactics strategy game where we have to well go to school fight evil bond boss, uh, bosses, have a cool enemy-esque art style, and of course, you know, make friends, handle and manage relationships, and so on. Oh man, I'm finally here having a look at the uh, uh, demo of Blade Prince Academy. This game is supposed to come out sometime in the future. It doesn't even have a set release date yet. And man, I wanted to play this demo like more than half a year ago, but it keeps disappearing from the Steam store. And finally, we have a chance here to get a look at this and start with the first nitpick, cause in that intro cinematic, which, okay, it's fine if you just start with that as well, but I couldn't read the text in time. Give me the time to read that, please, game. I want to. Uh, second thing, there's no settings menu. I mean, look at this. We have English, we have French, we have new game, quit game, that's it. And my ears are bleeding a little bit. Good thing I booted up this game before we started the recording and I turned it down a little bit for me and for you guys. It might still be too loud. I'm f sorry for this, because I don't know. There's no settings menu. It's an early demo. I get that, but, you know, bare minimums and so on. Regardless of that, let's hit new game and let's see what Blade Prince Academy has to offer, because I'm actually very much intrigued. Oh, we even have a tutorial. Yeah, sure. I mean, just look at this art. I mean, here we just have the castle, but the characters already, it definitely has a lot of charm. I love the music already. Very charismatic. Very cool. Okay, Phobos. Find Ethelion and kill the acid pills. Uh, what happened here? Who dared to attack the academy? My brothers. So many dead. I need to find survivors. <laughs> it's my lucky day. There's still one of them alive. The boss will be happy. All right, there we go, straight into combat. You have entered tactical pause, where you can analyze and queue up your actions. Press spacebar to enter exit tactical pause. All right, or right mouse click to attack the enemy. Let's do this. Okay, I guess that means I'm just gonna main attack him. Shift cancel. What if I do this? Shift plus right click is cancel what? What do I cancel with that? I don't know, let's go right click and space. There we go. And we have a little bit of a turn-based bar. There we go, where we just do our main attack easy. What the hell are the acid pills doing in the academy's gardens? It makes no sense. Oh, look at this. There's already dead people. Oh, man, this game. Okay. Doesn't play around. This princess just straight up dead. Man. I mean, look at this. This us in the art set. This already could, it could have been the heroine of the entire story. Like, this is the princess, you know, that we have to save. And who has super magical powers. And she has so big powers that the evil guys are trying to get her and be protected. No, this is just a random NPC. Dead. Who's this one? I do already like that we can zoom in. I can't really make out the hat. Uh, the, yeah. The hat hat? I don't know. There's just this... Blue thing, that's kind of hard. But look at this weapon, they're also kind of cool. Oh, and there's Oasis. Nice, crash with a K. <laughs> cool. Okay, we can already destroy a little bit of stuff. I like this. Is this something to pick up? No, just a magical lamp. Look at this also. Everyone dead here. Oh, no. But also doesn't kind of speak for these uh, pills, guys. You know, the acid pills looking at this seems like... I would say that these two... Probably this one as well, maybe, are, you know, acid pills. This is probably just a random princess here that got slaughtered. I don't know what this one is supposed to be, like a magical creature or so. So, yeah, they didn't, they lost a lot of people here. I was surprised that there's no other corpses. But I guess maybe it's just quantity of these guys. 
so far. Oh, look at this here. They already spread graffiti everywhere. All right. I like this. Yeah, very beautiful art style, very atmospheric. The music is already top notch. I'm a fan of the music. This is so great. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks a little bit stronger than before. Acid hair. I mean, look at this. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> my dog sure sniffed something. A little rascal slipped away. You wanna go on a ride with me? We've already slaughtered lots of your brats, and the boss said to bring him in. He's still breathing. Ah, <sighs> you'll die by my blade, you monster. If you attack the blade, princess, death is all you deserve. <laughs> we'll see about that, little one. Mad dogs, grab that insect. Right, fight. Use space to enable the technical pause. We've learned this capacity. Attack with a skill whirlwind of blades to eliminate the dogs. And oh, man, these are also dogs with a Z, so so they're way cooler. Okay. Uh, what is that skill that I can't look at because the pop-up is under the tutorial, which is fine, but I would like still to know what I'm even doing here. Oh, there. It pops up as well. Fair enough. Very tiny font, but hey. Spin blades around you, dealing 10 physical damage. Can we see their HP? They apparently have 10 armor, minus 3. Hard to tell. Well, let's activate the skill. I like this. Man, look at the, like, waiting animation of our hero as well with the double swords. Yeah, that's so cool. There we go. Press space to exit. Oh yeah, we activated the ability. Oh man, do you guys have you guys seen this tier? So we definitely have like a power up phase later on as well. We saw that in the tutorial when he glows, almost like a super saiyan or something like that. Okay, let's go. Whoa, chuck. Oh, that didn't deal much damage at all. I mean, it's still going. Never mind. It's a continuous ability apparently. Okay, cool. Let's go. There we go. My dogs. Damn you, pathetic little puppet of the mages. I'm the sword in the shadows. Oh, he looks angry. Ha <laughs> ha! No time to play with you, little one. Got to go! <laughs> oh, man. Don't run away, please. All right, break stuff. No, come back, you coward! <laughs> okay. First I thought our guy is just, you know, the more like cool protagonist, but he seems like he loses his temper very easily, too. Could I just sneak past you? Yeah. Attack, backstep. Ooh. Attack an enemy from behind with right click to perform your backstep and double your damage. Alright, let's go. Backstep! Chuck! Ooh, 24. Okay, highlight. Technical pause once we entered combat normally. Makes sense. Let's get rid of that tutorial. Break more stuff here. Pam pam. <laughs> I like this little bit of like this comic arc style as well. When you break stuff and so on. Money, keys, and three out of three revives or so, I suppose. What do we have here in the box? Who will open the chest? Oh, apparently that's important. Interesting. Phobos? All right. Phobos, uh, obtain a pact. That seems like a type of your translation, but that's fine. Obtains a pact or will obtain. Can obtain Vindicator's Relic. Plus five critical chance. Cool. Plus six attack. Less poison resistance and less magic. Okay, sounds decent. A demonic mutation. Now we're talking. More life maximum. Uh, more armor, less attack speed, and less magic resistance. Mm. Nature's Rune of Protection, way more armor, way more magic resistance, less attack speed, less poison resistance. Mm. Storm, more crystal, plus one magic, more mana maximum, and two armor. Let's actually start with the first one, because, yeah, this is more aggressive. Poison resistance, we don't know how good this is. And less magic, we don't have any right now, we're just melee, so that makes sense, I would guess. What kind of build ability? Yeah, look at this UI, super small here. Sharp dive, dash in with your sword, dealing 17 physical damage at the end point. There's also a question mark, so how can I highlight over this? There's this question mark. I wonder what this means. I can't click it or anything. Oh, okay, that's the ability. I do like that we can test them out, out of combat. Spin blades in front of you, dealing 12 physical damage duration point or just 10 seconds i suppose there, yeah that's what happened earlier there we go charge it up and then it just keeps spinning while we can continue to attack okay that's cool like this that has a long cooldown by the way okay, do we still break these vases no oh that's sad our skills like world one need to break these vases but can i do this okay let's do the sp uh, spin attack through the vases oh we don't break them that is honestly not satisfying Okay, early demo though. That's fine. Let's go. Oh, that doesn't look very nice here. Let's wait until our skills are charged up. Don't really want to run into that, do I? Let me just sneak past, you know? Never mind, guys. Okay, apparently not queuing. Okay. 
You queue up your actions during tactical pause to defeat your enemies. Your actions are queued and will be performed after exiting tactical pause. Press the spacebar to enter exit tactical pause. Okay. So we will just say, okay, go attack that. And then we can say, run away. Uh, sure. Let's do this. Attack. And then just, okay, very easy. Let's go. Break this. Okay. We also know that this takes some time before it explodes. Let's just run away. Come on. And it explodes. <laughs> Yeah, that felt satisfying. Pretty cool. Oh, can I dodge this attack in time? There we go. You will never catch me. Okay, let's also use sh the shop attack. There we go. I mean, it's actually fine. Maybe outside of combat, the UI here is super small. But once we're in tactical pause, it's definitely bigger. Also, look at this. We have these time phases here when these skills get activated, it seems. Well, not the main attacks, at least. Interesting. Oh, wait. If I click on them? I guess that's just for skills. Interesting. Okay, give me loot, please. I'd like to have loot. So many burning bushes here. Man, our ac academy is not very well defended, right? If there's, like, this random group of gangsters just trying to break in. Oh, well, not trying. They totally managed that. Oh, this one. Phil, good timing, my friend. We're in deep trouble. I was looking for you everywhere. Our room has felt really empty since you left. Ethelion. Okay, find acid hair with the help of Ethelion. Okay. Sorry, buddy. I wasn't planning on coming back for a while, but I sensed something shady was going on. You'd better tell me everything that happened since you left. And no bullshitting. I'm not the headmistress. I'll explain everything. I promise. But not now. It would be unwise. I suspect an influential organization is involved. Well, anyway, I'm glad to see you again, buddy. Let's go and save everyone we can. Fair enough. A group selection. You can select several characters by left-clicking and... Okay, cool. Yes, I like this very much. Uh, or by pressing the tab command. Okay, so if I don't only have one selected, press tab, everyone is selected. Cool. You can also select a specific character by pressing the 1, 2 key. And it's highlighted here as well. Very clear UI. I enjoy this. Uh, minor nitpick. Again, early demo is that this pop-up that we have now, this one in our team, and we need to find asset here with Ethelion, popped up way too early. It should have only popped up, in my opinion, after we regrouped. But that's just the minorest of minor nitpicks. So give me this. Break this. Could also, like, split up. Oh, I guess these are ranges where, yeah, things can see us. Fair enough. Can we sneak past? Oh, there's treasure. I would like to have treasure. Either we try to back... Let's try this, you know what? Also, they... Oh, they heard that. Never mind. <laughs> okay, what can you do? Bleeding. A quick blade th thrust. Should be a quick blade thrust, I think. Dealing bleed and 18 physical damage. Again, kind of tiny to read, even here in this mode. Bleed. Take one physical damage per... I actually can't read this. Take one physical damage per stack every two seconds. Okay, fair enough. Dealing bleed. Okay, per stack. What is this? Throw three blood projectiles, dealing 21 magic damage and bleed. Okay, ooh. Yeah, let's try to activate this. And you... You know what? Activate your whirlwind. There we go. And then just we go into melee combat. You try to go to the guy in the middle to hopefully hit as many as possible with your attack. There we go. Good job. What can you do? Bleeding thrust attack against this one. Go. There we go. Charges up. Cool. Got him! He runs away! Are you shooting or no? You're thrusting. There we go. That's pretty good as well. Yeah, good job, guys. What is this? New pact? No, just money. Fair enough. And the key. All right. Do we get XP or so? We definitely get money. Oh, there's more treasure. I need the treasure! Oh, I can't not ignore the treasure. Let's just go. Let's see if our main attacks... I mean, these are early enemies, right? They even have pistols. Wow. Okay, let's just focus down this one. Alterations. You can apply alterations with your skills. Alterations are extra effects that can deal damage over time or decrease your enemy's stats. Be careful. Enemy skills can also apply alterations. Poison. Receive 4 poison damage every 2 seconds reduced by armor attribute. Last for 85 seconds. What? Why would I want to receive poison? Oh wait, that's the debuff we have. Oh man, oh I... Because I just saw this, so I guess this is the alteration inflicted by us by the enemy, maybe? Oh, man. Can I look at the tutorial again? Okay, I actually don't know how to apply this alteration now. Here? Because I 
I thought uh, this would be the thing and not what was shown here in the window. So I'm sorry. I honestly don't see a way right now. Group, passive, aggressive. Okay, fair enough. How to apply these alterations? We have position. But this is more stats. This is not the position. Maybe from all characters? No. Info. Okay, position seems not to be available in the demo. It's just... Oh, wait, there. Just to have to very specifically click this here. And that's essentially... Okay, can we... Oh, we can turn them around. Interesting. Okay, yeah, sorry. No idea how to do alterations. We also have info on the enemy. If we want to see the stats, we have this... That was a lock thing. Guys, okay, you... Are you not attacking? Passive? Hope you're aggressive. There we go. Yeah, now you also automatically attack enemies nearby. That's cool. So aggressive stance, important. Yeah, no idea about alterations. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully we get a chance later on. I feel like I missed something. Okay, gimme, gimme. So much money. Hopefully we can make use of this. So go here. Man, almost feels like a modern take on, like, Baldur's Gate. And I'm speaking of the original Baldur's Gate games, like 1 and 2. But just enemy and persona, and I'm all up for it. Like this. Like this old school, tactical, uh, turn-based, but also real-time game play, but, you know, with a modern spin. That's pretty cool. What's the symbol again? If you'd paid more attention in class, you would remember. It's the symbol of Arachnea, the goddess of suffering. A cult that has its tentacles all over the continent of Monstrugo. You know full well that your theological teaching doesn't exactly get my adrenaline flowing, but this sign confirms my suspicions about those behind this massacre. Uh, well, you don't need to elaborate on that, I suppose. Let's just get HP. We're full. Okay. Give me all those things. Yeah, treasure. There we go. More. Can we do anything with a bookshelf? No, we can't. Guys, you can please detect this. Thank you very much. And we have a key. So let's use this. Open with a key. Or just try the door, which gives us plus one skull. What is, does that do? Ooh, potions are not healing us instantly. It's like a consumable. That's cool. I want to destroy the door because I want to find out what this red skull is about. Let's go. Oh, it's just damage. But it said plus one. Hmm. Not quite sure what that really means, but oh, there we go, boss fight. I'm ready for this. All right, nowhere to run now. Zaha, you and your little friend are too late. You'll pay for what you've done. Come on then, kiddies. I've enough juice in my blood to take two of you at the same time. Acid hair? I think I'll start with your tongue so I can shut you up for good. Well, here we go, crimson and spikes! And you start with a sharp dive. Attack! Chuck! Okay, keeping in with the whirlwind. Are you bleeding? Or is this an alteration? I think you are bleeding because you hit him, right? Hard to tell. Yeah, there's a bleed effect. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Okay, use this as well. All the apply, all the attack. Let's go. Can we see the bleed effect now on the enemy? No, we can't. I'm not sure if he actually is bleeding right now. Okay, just main attack. Easy, we got this. 600. Oh, this bar. 600, 800 doesn't change. Again, early demo, fair enough. I mean, visually it does, not the number. Okay, there we go. We got him. Till next time, kiddos. I'll be taking my leave now. My pills will get ya. Can't believe it. The damned red slipped right through our fingers. Ah, you just wanted to buy enough time to evacuate the hostages. We've been fooled like chumps. Let's find the headmistress quickly to get some backup. We'll scour the whole ab of Abjectalia to hunt down that freak if we have to. Ah, Phil. Okay, can I just point out, we don't know, and this is just going hardcore and picking onto the writing, but we don't know that they have hostages. Do you know that? If that was the case, shouldn't we have focused on trying to, you know, save the hostages instead of just, you know, getting lured in by this guy who obviously taunted us? If we knew, would you just imply, Phil, that there's hostages? We should have gone after those. I'm not fine with that, Phil. There's nothing. Just a bad migraine. I need to continue my investigation as a vampire. I have contacts in the shadows that could help us. We'll meet again soon at the academy. Pfft, I need to find Oren. I'm sure she survived. At least she's reliable. These guys are surprisingly chill, that, uh, considering that we just heard that the hostages have been taken away. That's fine. You know, we protected the academy. Screw the hostages. We don't care about those. Not sure if I like you guys after all. What's going on here? Okay, now after the mission we gain XP, that's cool. 
Sure. Again, look at this visual style. Beautiful. Malga Dore. Blade Princess, bow before the Lord of Objectalia, Zian Taurus. My dear children, yesterday's events put the future of Objectalia at risk. We have not witnessed the depravity of this magnetic note in 200 moons. Your brothers and sisters have been captured or killed under our own roof. No black mage or blade princess, a blade prince will re rest until the pre per <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at reading. So, no black mage or black a blade prince will rest until the perpetrators of this atrocity are executed. Oh, look at this. She's angry. I like this. Our enemies committed a fatal error. Your brother Thelion uncovered their identity. The Brotherhood of Tomts, a cult who served the goddess of Arachnea. Wasn't it like we hold to told him about the cult? That it's connected, that's even the goddess, and, you know, Thelion didn't even know anything about that? I'm confused. We will hunt our enemies down and destroy them. Phoebus, you're in charge of recruiting an elite team. As of now, we are at war! Yeah! Glory to Objectalia! Glory to the Academy! Glory to war! And there we go. Oh, this is the Academy. That's cool. And finally, after the tutorial, after having played the game, we actually have a settings menu. I actually would have not uh, believed that anymore. Okay, we have, we have key bind, uh, rebinding. That's cool. And now we can actually turn down the music just a bit. Oh, the number doesn't even change. But... It does work for music. Yeah, master music effects. No, effects doesn't seem to work. If I still have over effects, still is a thing there. So I'm not sure what effects is then. Let's turn this down to maybe here. FPS limit 120 on enemy death. There is like a slow time. Life remaining 30% on hero death. Okay, I like this. For tactics game, very cool. Yeah, again, early demo was for that i guess it's fine don't know what mission settings are but i guess we learn later so this is the academy cool so we have this thing we have well i mean this thing we have a laboratory uh the sleeping quarters and just i mean this forest thing and this is apparently the same phobos 65 XP, I guess, energy 4 to 5. Right click for more info. You can look at your hero stats and packs on their character sheet. You can also change their skills and acquire talents. You can look at this beautiful menu. Blade. The blade wreck havoc with the sword. sword. <laughs> Dealing heavy physical damage. They are also powerful mages. Okay, so he's a blade. These are. This is our one pack so far. Skills. We have this. Burning change. Okay. Create a link of burning flames with an enemy, dealing burn and 8 magic damage. Give burn to the caster. So we burn too? So the enemy and we? Can I still equip this on E or is this locked? I mean, there's a lock symbol. So if I, can I take this away now or swap, swap them off? I can. But well one is pretty cool. Yeah, sure, let's... why not? Let's still have the burning chains here. Talents, can I... These pluses, no, can't click on those. Fireball. Wait, what? I suppose. Oh, these are the higher the level, the more we unlock. So next time, uh, yeah, on level two, we get the fireball. Throw pierce fireball, dealing uh, burn and twenty-one magic damage. At level ten, we gain a flame dash. Interesting. Okay, got this and more stats from time to time. So it's not per level every time we gain stats. It's actually per like third, five, um, seventh level and so on. Deadly combo. Prepare your next strike, increasing physical damage of your next skill. Interesting. All right, what if we click this symbol? At the Black Mage Altar, you can remove packs from heroes. Okay, remove cost 200 gold. No, that's the Headmaster. He looks so slightly annoyed. He looks also very evil with this. Is that the plot twist? The Headmaster is also the evil guy? I mean, judging from this picture alone, that should be it, right? What else do we have? Enchanting upgrade. We have a cyber mod. Cyber mods can be used to upgrade the academy. Uh, do we upgrade the academy or do we upgrade a certain aspect of the academy? What is this level one upgrade? Magics, I don't know. Enchanting cost. Did this now get better? What did I do? I upgrade. Oh. Okay, it doesn't take our cyber mods apparently, even though we have level two upgrades now. Enchant? Enchant mode. This one? Okay, this gives. Okay, we have choices now. I guess the enchanting is better now because it's level three. So either plus one 
energy maximum or plus 0.2 region life. Hard to say. Energy maybe? Oh, we don't have the money. No, that's bad. What is this? Don't know what this is. Upgrade? Reroll. Maybe it's the reroll cost that we upgrade? I have no idea. So spent too much money to upgrade our enchanting ability, but now we don't have enough to actually enchant this. Sorry. Okay, if we click this. Here you can review the relationships between your heroes and organized parties. Oh, we can go partying! Okay, Phoebus and Phoebus. Nice. Oh man, that's why we're so, such good friends, because we found someone who has the exact same name as us. <laughs> I guess that is just, you know, early demo stuff to get an idea what to come. Yeah, this doesn't feel like it's implemented right now. But look at this character, kind of cool as well. Yeah, again, very beautiful art style. No, I can't click anything. So this is just an idea. Fair enough. What is this? Use the alchemy lab to add effects and buy potions. Upgrade the alchemy lab to boost the efficiency and number of your potions. Okay, add effects to potions. You can buy new ones to refill your... I can't read this because this element is in the way. Uh, refill your blah 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 stock. Well, we can either buy more potions. Potion effect, potion stock. 300, yeah. We want to have up to three potions. Oh, this actually took a cyber mod. Before it didn't, but here it did. Okay, the effect we... Oh, I don't have the money. No, I guess this gives us poison resistance because I wanted to, you know, just have more potions. Well, still for... Oh, look at this fine gentleman. Cool. What do we have here? Use the infirmary, infirmary to let your heroes rest and restore their energy. A hero with no energy can uh, can't take part in a mission. Seems like this text is also like grayed out for some reason. But again, just very minor thing. The infirmary uh, allows your heroes to rest. They recover one energy point after every mission. So cool. So we have our squad of heroes. And sometimes, well, they will run out of energy, so we're incentivized to, you know, maximize our energy usage between missions as well. So we won't always have our, you know, top tier teams. We actually have to switch our team members and so on to make sure we use all of them. I like that. That's cool. Available. Can we just... Oh, there's like this drag and drop symbol, but I can't do Phoebus. Rust! Oh, look at this. <laughs> He's sleeping. Cool. Okay, what if we go here? The garden. Nothing in the garden. Nothing to see here. All right, start a mission. No, let's just let a week pass. Let go. We did the week. We studied. Cost 20 money. What? Not cool. Okay. Um, can I now get out of this? Okay, press escape. There's this exclamation mark. What does that mean? This is this. We don't have the money. This is unlocked now, strangely enough. Pretty sure before this was locked, the bleed resistance. I mean, look, this symbol tells me blit resistance, this poison resistance, fire, sleep resistance, maybe, and curse resistance or so. What does this exclamation mark mean? There's even a one there. Does it mean in one of those things we can interact with someone? Or is it just telling us this is full right now? Can I take you out? I guess that's the thing. Okay, let's start a mission. Ooh, choose a destination. Look at this beautiful city. Cool. Well, we can only choose this one. That's fine. Zion Taurus, headmistress. We need the Academy's finest to fight the Brotherhood of Torments. Send an elite team to the Shallows to track down our enemies and find the captured Blade Princess. It's a lawless area where chaos and poverty reign. My son will obviously take the lead of our reprisals. Do you have some good elements in mind to help him? Of course, Lord Taurus. Phoebus has already surrounded himself with reliable students, Oren and Selina. Diamante will be here to take care of a solo mission. Oren is the best sniper of the academy and is the worthy heir of a fallen squadron officers. Uh, totally read that wrong, sorry. Selina is a powerful and, gif uh, and gifter mystic, a moon priestess. As for Diamante, she is the second best student of this incredible year group, an elementalist genius and sharp spirit. I have a special task for her. Great, they will lead the counteroffensive. I'm counting on you to supervise them. Clear the shallows of these acid pills, vermin, and take revenge for this atrocity. Oh yeah. I mean, if this one is not the evil guy, then I don't even know. Just look at him. Even the eye shadow. Eye shadow always, you know, makes someone evil. Uh, Oren, are you okay? I'd heard nothing about you since the attack. Don't worry, I'm fine. I was coming back from an undercover mission when the attack happened. I scared the worst of it. Good to hear. The leader of the acid pills is hiding in the shallows right now. I need to put together a team to flush that scam out. I thought instantly about you to help me. Really? Cool. 
I know the shadows like the back of my head. After my parents died, the squad runs put me in an orphanage there. Oh, that's just... The area is made out of districts. Some are busy, others not so much. Various criminal gangs have made it their home. Count me in. All right, new hero, Oren. Even like with this 3D character. Oh, that's the sniper thing. Okay, cool. Physical damage, DPS, yeah. No, I don't want to recruit them. Nope, sorry. I, I'm... <laughs> well, of course. There we go. Join, approved. So later on, it seems like we can also have different squad members not just the main characters but different one as well if there's like a recruit mechanic i would guess hi selena oh wait i skipped this also wait but you were dead at the entrance i'm pretty sure that's the princess i meant at the beginning who was dead is this what oh i don't trust you but you are dead as long as the moon shines brightly nothing can harm me you certainly seem to have nerves of steel. Join us to explore the shallows. Your moon elf abilities could come in handy. Moon has guided you to me. If that is her wish, then I give thanks for the, the destiny she has laid out for us. Uh, okay, I mean, it was the headmistress who recommended you. Anyway, be ready, we don't really know what's in store for us there. We'll be explaining, uh, exploring areas that the squadrons have abandoned. My face will protect us. I will be there by your side in the shadows as well as in the light. Don't know why I can't read again. Okay, but I'm like, that's her, right? She's a healer, I'm magical. I don't trust you, Selena. You are evil. I saw your corpse. No, we, okay. Don't trust. I mean, is it already implied that this guy is also our father? Because he mentioned he's gonna send his son. So I guess that's this. We are, I mean, we both kind of have horns. So he's the big evil guy, but we're gonna be the great hero who stops our dad. Selena definitely is in cohorts with him. She's super evil. Don't trust her. Can we get her out of the team? Well, I don't know. Not right now. This is not the time where she portrays us. Let's start a mission. Again? Even though I just clicked it, it threw me back at the main menu. Now we have to do it again. Okay. Okay, different missions here. We do this. Vendetta. Threat level 1. Hmm. We notice that the Acid Pills gang is taking bolder actions against us. You have to put them back in their place. Eliminate the Acid Pills. Okay, also some different stats. Enemies have little magic resistance. Enemies have strong physical resistance. Enemies have physical damage. I mean, good thing that they do have any physical damage. <laughs> also, there is this poison thing. Don't know what that means. And we see the rewards. Fair enough. Infinite Hourglass. Plus 5 haste, less lifesteal. Is that a reward or is it not? Seems so out of place here. Okay, and we can put in the team. Let's do it like this. Selena at the front. If she dies, it's fine. I don't trust her. We are on mission number two. Let's skip this for once. I do like that there's already party dialogue. Adds a lot to it. Oh, Nuna Crescent. Oh, she looks so angry. <laughs> Hit with a sharp moon's edge, dealing 15 magic damage and giving mana. Wait, let's actually, that's a good idea. What are her abilities? So there's the star rating. Oh, that's mana, right? This one gives mana. This one deals. Oh, heals and deals. Uh, takes mana. Got it. What about Ren? Oh, we heal pack. Use a magical curative dispo. What? Use a magical curative dispositive feeling. The target. Oh, okay. Sure. Also, we have precision shot. Take a long. Uh, takes a long time to charge. Destructive shot. I'm totally misreading this. Dealing stunt and physical damage. I'm the worst at reading, but I think it's hopefully still clear what this is. Oh, there's the mission now here. Cool. I have everything activated. I don't even want to. We have gotta just get rid of 10 gang, mangs, uh, ga gang, <laughs> gang members. I don't know why I can't read. I'm so sorry. There we go. Combat, that's fine. I think we can just run in here. Oh, these enemies seem stronger though. Let's just go. Blade attack. There we go, good job. I want to try out the charge shot. Oh, it's even in the line. That's cool. Take some time. Oh yeah, that's powerful. That feels good. Also, I want to set everyone at aggressive because if they are passive, it's like in so many other games, there's an enemy right beside them and they don't attack that enemy, which is not cool. Also, we have some kind of minimap. If I press M, oh, we can even make it bigger. Yeah, that's cool. So spawn, no, trap. <laughs> what is just no? You know, they could go with keys, but the game is just, no, no, you do not get keys here. What I, no, how dare you? How dare you to ask for keys? Traps, cursed room, store, a boss, and a quest. Interesting. 
Can I go to the right here? It seems like it. I guess that's just... Can I go through this? I guess this is just supposed to let us look into that room. Okay, and that's not quite as clear. Still fine. Let's see. What even is that symbol? It's neither a trap nor a store room. Is that just to the next floor? There's also a store. I want to go to the store. How do I do this? Let's try that out. Okay, let's find some enemies. Oh, look at them. A big dog and a bandit. That definitely is a big dog. I mean, they're not lying about this. Also here, the numbers change and the bar itself uh, as well, which is cool. I really like Ren. I want to use more Ren. So what could you do again? You can heal, but you can also do this. A little, little bit of magic damage. And that also makes you regain HP. Like, pew. I mean, there's a cool animation, but not sure if that really did much. You do attack though, right? From time to time. Backstab. That's cool. You're kind of losing here. What is happening suddenly? All right. Maybe I need to pay a little bit more attention, guys. Okay, you are going to get out there. It's fine. Furbis can take it. I want you to heal him, please. Can I select Furby here in this UI as well? It seems so. That's cool. Okay. What is going on, guys? I would like not to lose. Burning chain on the big dog. Burning chain! Get in there. Get in there. Use your whirlwind attack, please. You are still on cooldown. Okay. Enemies can be strong. Never mind. The tutorial definitely was just a tutorial. I think we can take this charge. It's fine. Oh, maybe we're gonna use this just in case. Super shot. Backstep. Oh, Selena took a lot of damage. It's fine. Shoot. Ha, shouldn't this have activated? Did I miss this? Okay, Um, can you please attack? Selena, get out of there. Oh, not in that range, please. And heal yourself. Please heal yourself. It's almost over. Heal yourself, heal yourself, heal yourself. There we go. Good job. You burning chain. I should have kept the other. I'm not sure if I like burning chain, if I'm honest. Okay. Never mind. We can drink one potion because we have this one. Enemies definitely are stronger now than before. That's fine. We can just technically wait it out now and heal everyone with Selena's abilities. Also, you have a healing ability too, right? I should not forget about that. Okay, heals a little bit and gets rid of status effects if I got that right. Why would I ever go in this corner? Oh, there's treasure. That's why. Okay, what is this? Oh, who will open the chest? Uh, Ren, why not? Ooh, a new pact, Berserker Rage. More attack speed, very good. More life, maximum. Less armor, magic resistance. Critical chance. Ooh, minor maximum. Hmm. More attack, more evasion. Lifesteal. Hmm. So I think on Ren, I either want to have Berserker Range or Gladiator's Gem. Plus six attack. Currently, his attack is 35. Attack speed. Where do I see attack speed? Plus 50. Here. Okay, we can only see which will get uh, which will be increased, but not by how much. Is 50 much? I mean, currently we are at 140. Also more life, less resistance. Evasion. Where do we see evasion, by the way? There. Currently it's 10. Is it a, per a flat percentage chance? Hmm. Let's get, go with this. If it's 12% chance to evade attacks... Oh, and we have this. So I guess these skulls wasn't activated in the troll. I guess this increases like the danger level or something like this. I wonder if this is also on a timer. Or if it depends on how many enemies defeat. This mechanic hasn't been explained yet. Or maybe in this one text that I skipped. I don't know. This one dialogue. Okay, let's go. I want to still go to the store and see what we can get there. Even though we have like no money at all. Okay, this is where the store is. Let's see if we can... Oh, we can't even afford anything. Hey, isn't that the merchant who was doing business with the acid pills? I like how these guys are... Man, look at this guy! Awesome. Awesome. Yes, I like this design. The shopkeeper. The merchant. The one and only. If you're looking to offload some scones and looking for something in particular, look no further. I've got you covered. It is him. I recognize the smile. He has his fingers in all corners of the city. No one dares interfere in his business. Everyone is free to haggle with anybody as long as the customer pays. Let's say generously. My little animalit. Okay, don't know. Furry. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's fight these guys. And then we at least found the shopkeeper. Even though maybe we can buy a key. It's fine. 
I actually have enough money to now buy this chest for 500 skulls. We got rid of 10 enemies, found a few new packs for our team, unlocked the store. This was not the area to the next floor or something. It was just, um, you know, we could use the key, get some items. Now I want to buy this, assign a pack to a hero, Black Mage's Blessing. So plus one projectiles, plus one mana maximum, plus four attack and less magic. That could be interesting for Oren, who has two projectiles, but he also likes to have attack, right? So let's actually give this maybe to Selena. So more projectiles and more mana maximum, probably not too shabby for her either. Less attack, not so important, less magic, eh. But I think she probably benefits the most from it, so let's do that. I wanna see how it looks when she has two projectiles. Cause I think she has a ranged attack, I'm actually not 100% sure, but I'm pretty, I'm like, I think, I hope so. Look at their all, they all have these unique animations, like how they move and attack. I like this. This game really has a lot of charm. Also, if we walk into these vents, there's this, like this foggy thing. Don't know what it does, but hey, looks cool. So we gotta find like the area boss, it seems, Gadaho, which even though I've been here before, here he is again. Gadu, it's great to see you in one piece. Oh, it's not, it's a friend. What are you doing here? Gadu knows Shallows well. Gadu hit big hair once. Gadu annoyed. How did he survive here with all these dangerous gangs? He's a bronze troll and pretty tough. The headmistress told me about his childhood. Gadu was born in the Shallows. He grew up in these dark streets, left to fend for himself. Acid pills network. Communication everywhere. A communication network? That explains how the acid pills are so organized. Praise be to Merciful Moon for guiding this poor Gadu to us. I don't trust you, Selina! We have moon for brains. Gadu not poor. Gadu have skulls. What should we do? Oh, wait, we have a decision? That's cool. Return to the academy for rest. Go for a drink at the magic garden. Yeah, let's just go drinking. Boozing time plus two relations. Okay, between these two especially. A little drink would hurt. I mean, it's not like this really made sense right now because we had this Gadu and suddenly we have been thrown into. But as a showcase for the mechanics, that's cool. We do go back. These are our rewards plus 10 team, uh, team relations. Cool. 200 extra money. One of these weapon mods. Infinite hourglass. Oh, it's okay. Less, ha more haste, less uh, lifestyle. We don't know. Do we know what haste is? Haste there. Haste recharges skills faster. Okay, that's confirm. Oh no, did I accidentally recycle that? I wondered if I would like to have given that to Ren. Oh, we have leveled up though. More skill points. Level 2, level 3. Interesting that Selena didn't get enough. Okay, let's skip this real quick. I want to find out what the skill points are about. And now, Gadu joins us as well. Look at him, he looks so cool. And of course, the best sword, Buster Sword. Yes, cool dude. Okay, we want to level up. How do I do this? Right click. We have these talents. Okay, you definitely have the fireball unlocked, but maybe not. Maybe it's just on our main character. Okay. Oh, that was just a visual bug. Fair enough. So you have the fireball and... Okay, now we have an extra skill slot. I guess that is what they meant with the... Let's have the fire... And now we did this. I guess this is just glitchy because that... I'm pretty sure that was still supposed to glitch out. Okay, we can... Okay, stat boost. We can make a choice. More attack, more life, more energy. I don't know. More attack, sure. Okay, this is this. You are level 2 only. You have an antidote. Use your extensive experience of venoms to cure it. Healing and cleansing poison. Healing the target. I mean, do we know how much this heals? So technically the antidote might be better. 12, 24, 25.5. The magic. I don't know if antidote isn't maybe not just straight up better than the heal pack. Even though here we have the hunter focus. Focus to increase your attack speed by 20%. That's pretty cool. I'd rather have that. And now with this. Okay, still a bit glitchy early demo. Uh, regardless, I think it's a good idea to now wrap it up. Uh, keep it. Let's keep it short. First off, this demo still and everything. Ah, there's a continue button. Look at this. Beautiful. Yeah, this still feels rough at places and definitely needs polish and quite a lot of polish. But again, it's an early demo and the promise it has and the potential is frankly in amazingly, increasingly amazingly high. Yes, thumbs up from me polish this up and then when the game is going to be released someday again there's not even a set release date i think this is gonna be a great game i love this persona-esque real-time turn-based uh, post combat i love that we have this academy uh, more enemy kind of presentation with the style and the story sure i'm totally fine with that as well and yeah 
team management, team friendship, cool skills, interesting, challenging combat apparently as well. Thumbs up from me. I'm very much looking forward to Blade Prince Academy, judging from this demo, but again, needs polish. Regardless of this, this is my opinion. Please tell me what you think of the game. Please tell me what you think of my presentation and showcase thereof. Feedback is always greatly appreciated. Make sure to stay awesome, consider sharing the video, and we see each other in the next one, truly. Thank you for watching.